Hello and welcome. This is the third episode of my Learn Python with Google Vlog. And today it falls on the um, 8th of March, the International Women's Day. Uh, so happy International Women's Day to all women on Earth and those watching this episode of my Learn Python with Google. Especially to my lovely wife Serena. Uh, the Vlog was actually inspired by her suggested to record a video every week so here I am um, so let's get started with the vlog early today early this week I have completed the crash course on Python and earned my first certification uh, of the program designed by Google that wasn't really easy uh, I must say that I initially thought it was easier but I managed to complete the entire course within a couple of weeks so in the final week of the course, we have worked on a real world problem with our tutor, uh, Christine. And by the way, happy International Women's Day also to you, Christine. She is Christine. And to Margarita, which is the mind behind the uh, certification program. Um, so as, uh, as I was saying, uh, she explained how uh, to define the problem statement uh, during the last uh, week of this course, conduct a research about tools to use to solve our problem, and then we move to the planning phase where we decide we, we define how to write the code output. So, uh, for uh, the final section, we actually wrote the code together and then move to solve a similar problem using uh, on our own using the Jupyter Notebook uh, to practice a, a little bit more before the final graded assessment of the course. The challenge here was to write a report where given a list of events we, mm, where these events were happening on a machine we recorded and print to the screen the machine's name, the username uh, of every user currently logged in for each device. After that, it was time for our real challenge um, and complete the final graduate assessment, writing code using the Jupyter Notebook to um, generate a word cloud image. Um, that was the final assignment of the course, which I submitted and successfully passed the course. Uh, my work cloud image was uh, generated using um, two of my blog posts, uh, the ethical web developer and how to recognize an unhealthy workplace. And I am going to show you one of the pictures that I made using the work cloud. This is the picture out of the ethical web developer. And I completed the assessment. I've got my well deserved certificate. Here it is. And uh, later during the week, uh, after completing this crash course, I have started reading all the resources uh, suggested during the course to consolidate my knowledge. Starting from the official Python 3 tutorial available on the Python website. Uh, I have relooked at all the core concepts studied in the course, from using the Python interpreter and working with string, strings, numbers, lists, and uh, control flows like uh, loops, while and for loops, to the range function and other clauses of loops like break, continue, and the else clause up to how to define functions again. And as part of my consolidation plan, I started solving a uh, problem using Python via the platform Macarank, and I am going to leave you a link in the description if you want to try it. And what I'm going to do next is um, I'm planning to keep consolidating what I've learned in the crash course using the resources I was given. So um, I will first 
complete the uh, official Python tutorial, uh, then I will start reading the Thinking Python book. And by the way, I am going to leave a link in the description to the book so you can read it if you want, and it's free. And I will do more projects on other rank to keep consolidating all these things that I've learned. Uh, that's it for today. I will see you next week for another episode uh, where we might solve a challenge using Python uh, via the Akarang platform. Um, so happy International Women Day again and take care.